All right, now we're ready to try prompt for relatives DNA function. Okay, and we're calling that one line 67 there. Okay, so this is asking us to, we're going to prompt for the names of each of the potential relatives and store them in an array of strings. All right, so what we have is we have the name list, so we can access the names that they input. It should be full at this point. And we'll have the DNA list where we're going to put their uh, DNA marker strings. And the count will tell us how many times we need to loop. All right, again, I'm just gonna space things out, just output a new line, and L. And again, I'm gonna jump into a for loop. For int i equals zero, this should be set up exactly like the uh, loop before, because we want it to run the same number of times. And then I'm going to output and ask them for some DNA. So C out, have the string please. Enter the DNA sequence for space. Okay, so now we need to know who the DNA is for. They need to know the names and associate it with what they typed in. So we will output whatever name is on the name list at the same index that we're going to be storing the marker in the DNA list array. Then I'll output a string of a colon in a space to make it look pretty. And then get some C in, get some input, and I'll put whatever they type for the DNA sequence and put that into the DNA list array at the same location as the name list. So each of those lists should have each index lined up with the same uh, re uh, related data. Okay, let's go ahead and test this. Save it. Run it. Okay, I'm just going to use the information from the sample. A T T C G A C T G A Number of relatives, three, Peter, James, John. Ah, look, it's ready. It's asking me for the DNA sequence. Let's see if typing it in works. C, G, A, C, T, G, A. Wonder where they got the DNA markers for these guys. Wonder if they're real. A T T G C A G T C A. Okay, so I didn't have any errors in getting that information, so um, it should be okay to move on now. And hopefully the information is correct in those. I'm just going to do a, just a little extra test this time. I'm going to see out. Well. Not this time. I'll, t I'll tell you more in the next video.